to perform pins or pins related technologies such as uh, deep uh, onnets or deep neural operator or even the inverse uh, pins we have well mainly three ways actually to to do it the first way is uh, pytorch the second way is uh, deep xte and the third way is uh, nvidia models now when comparing between these uh, three methods we can see that uh, some are faster some are easier some has um, more capabilities and some will have a little bit or much more freedom to do whatever we want so when we start to take the uh, case of pytorch um, as we can see like pytorch is very fast way to perform these simulations so speed wise it is the best for easiness to use i would say it's uh, the most hard to use compared with the other two methods so uh, maybe as a start maybe it's um, a, like to build a very big model start with other methods and then migrate to pytorch uh, like in a step by step manner this is what i really recommend you to to do for capability of course Py, uh, of course pytorch can do whatever you can do so you can do whatever you want and it is uh, quite uh, quite free like whatever you want to do you can do it and there are no limitations because you are controlling more or less everything that goes into the computation so this is the case of pytorch if we take the other uh, case which is uh, the uh, deep xte which is a successful library in this um, uh, re related with pins and verse pins and so on we can see the speed is um, well slower than uh, th than pytorch but still it is um, like can compute in a reasonable amount of time so the speed is not a problem the easiness is it's, it's quite easy to use but the problem is we have to decide all the equations by ourselves so this is a little bit make it a bit harder to deal with uh, when we define the equations and sometimes the boundary conditions that we're trying to uh, model or the problem for the problem we're trying to model for the capability is um, i would say limited it can do a lot but um, this library is not developing uh, as fast as we, we would like it to see and um, that will that actually limits our capabilities of what we can do with this library so i would uh, say um, it will not be uh, it's not the highest uh, capable library that we have now the last one is um, nvidia models and in nvidia models the speed is terrible it's very very slow it takes a lot of computational power and it only runs on gpu so this is a big problem for nvidia models for the easiness is the easiest way to perform pins or related technologies such as inverse pins and uh, deep neural operator however as we said it will consume a lot of time to do it like to compute it not setting the problem but computing the problem capabilities is quite high at the, at the end it is um, like it's developed by nvidia and nvidia is very strong company now and it keep getting uh, stronger it is um, every everybody needs um, nvidia uh, gpus so they are having a lot of capital and they are investing a lot in ai um, either the hardware as, as well as the application of ai because with people using more of these technologies they will buy more nvidia products so the last thing is the freedom for nvidia models is mm, well i would say is comparable to deep xde so you can do quite um, quite a lot but limited in comparison with pytorch so if we want to rank them we will say for speed pytorch will come number one then deep xte and then nvidia way back for uh, easy to, uh, easiness to use for sure nvidia models is the easiest after that deep xte 
and followed by that is PyTorch. For the capability, of course, PyTorch is you. It's up to you. It's what what can you do with PyTorch is what you uh, actually um, you can get. So the capability is the highest. After that, I would say NVIDIA models and then DeepXTE. The freedom to, to perform whatever you want by far is PyTorch. After that, it would say I would say uh, in the same uh, in the same like um, position, the same uh, uh, rank is NVIDIA models as well as uh, DeepXTE. So these are uh, my explanation of the uh, technologies that can be used to solve uh, pins and its related uh, technologies that such as uh, deep neural network and uh, deep neural uh, operator and the um, uh, and, and the last one which is the inverse uh, pins